North Korea will never give up nuclear weapons. North Korea has passed a law ensuring the right to automatically use primitive nuclear strike to protect itself. A move leader Kim Jong Un said makes its nuclear status irreversible and bears any denuclearization talks. State media has reported the move come as observers say North Korea appear. To be preparing for a resumed nuclear testing for the first time since 2017, after history submit with the U.S. President Donald Trump and other world leader in 2018 fail to persuade Kim to abandon his weapon development, the North Rubber Stamp Parliament, the Supreme People's Assembly passed the legislation on Thursday as a replacement to a 2013 law that first outlined the country's nuclear status. State news agency KCNA reported on Friday, the almost significant of legislating nuclear weapons policy is to draw an irreversible line so that there can be no bargain over our nuclear weapons. Kim said in a speech to the assembly, adding that he would never surrender the weapons even if the country faced 100 years of sanctions. A deputy at the assembly said. The law would serve as a powerful legal guarantee for consolidating North Korea's position as a nuclear weapon state and ensuring the transparency, consistency, and standard character of its nuclear policy. KCNA reported the 2013 law stipulated that North Korea could use nuclear weapon to repel invasion or attacks from a hostile nuclear state and make retaliatory strikes. The new laws go beyond that to allow for preemptive nuclear strike if an amendment attack by weapon of mass destruction or against the country's strategic target, including its leadership, is detected. Kim cited kill chain, which is part of a three-pronged military strategy, being boosted under the new South Korean president Yoon Suk Yeol, as a sign that the situation is deteriorating. And Pyongyang must prepare for long-term tension. In a nutshell, there are some really vague and ambitious circumstances which North Korea is now saying it might use its nuclear weapon. Chad O'Carroll, found on the North Korea tracking website NK News, said on Twitter, "I imagine the purpose is to give U.S. and South Korean military planner pause for though much wider range of action than before." The law also banned any sharing of nuclear arms or technology with other countries, and is aimed at reducing the danger of nuclear war by preventing miscalculations among nuclear weapon states and misuse of nuclear weapon. Analysts say Kim's goal is to win international acceptance of North Korea's status as a responsible nuclear state. Joe Biden's administration has offered to talk to Kim any time, at any place. And the South Korean President Kim Suk Yu has said his country would provide massive amount of economic aid if Pyongyang began to give up its arsenal. South Korea on Sunday offered to hold talks with North Korea on reunion of families separated by the 1950-53 Korean War in its first direct overture under Junes, despite strained cross-border ties. North Korea has rebuffed those overturns, however, saying that the U.S. and its allies maintain hostile policy, such as sanction and military drills that undermine their message of peace. Kim has dealt up weapon tests to a record pace this year, launching more than 30 ballistic weapons, including the first demonstration of his intercontinental ballistics missile in 2017. That's it for today. Thank you and goodbye.